Welcome to Chat, I'm Sarah. It's a Friday and you know what that means, we have a weekend coming up. Mr. Nixon is doing a sausage and a hot dog sale this Friday the 26th. Please contact Mr. Nixon with your pre-order and your preference for today. Books Are Fun will be returning Monday. You'll be able to view the app and place orders as well as place orders in the media center. Red Ribbon Week is next week and Monday is America Monday, Tuesday is Western Day, Wednesday is Scare Off the Drugs, which means wear your Halloween costume to school, Thursday is Lay Off the Drugs, which means it's Hawaiian wear, and Friday is Wear Red. Middle School is doing an AR challenge, 40,000 word count, and this goal, nine weeks. The top 10 readers will win a free holiday turkey. The cheerleading tryouts will be submitted today. If you would like to see your name for basketball, they will be in the gym. Attendance recovery is every morning in the media center. High school students must arrive by 7.20 in order to earn back one class period absence. Middle school students must arrive at 7.45 to earn back one class period absence. If a middle school student arrives at 7.20, they will earn back two class periods or absences. Students may not be late and may not leave or else they will not be credited. Afternoon attendance recovery is is in Dr. Johnson's room, which is room 305, every Tuesday from 320 to 410. And also, congratulations to the Chatco football team for winning 48 to 0 last night. And that's the chat for today. This month, our theme is all about the realities of bullying. One question we get asked a lot is bullying and conflict. What's the difference? So in this week's episode, we're going to break it down a little bit to share what is the difference between bullying and conflict. Well, conflict is when there's a disagreement between two people. So for example, maybe your friend wants to go see the new movie all about dragons, whereas you want to see the newest romantic comedy. But bullying is when something is done to hurt or harm another person on purpose, either emotionally or physically. We're gonna break it down a little bit further in this week's episode, so make sure you stick around. One of the first things to look at when differentiating bullying and conflict is all about power. So in conflict, it's between individuals who have equal power, so a classmate or friend, and they're arguing or disagreeing about something. Whereas with bullying, there is an imbalance of power. So the student who is doing the bullying behavior has more power than the student who is experiencing the bullying. Now that can be power in a few different senses. It can be being physically larger or stronger. It can be being more popular or having a higher social status. Or it can be being in a group and having that power in numbers. But when looking at bullying versus conflict, it's important to go back to the power aspect to see if there's neutral or if there's that imbalance of power as there is in bullying. Another difference to look at is that in conflict, students usually realize when a line's been crossed and when they're hurting another person and want to change that behavior. Whereas in bullying, students often continue to bully even after they realize they're hurting or harming another person. In bullying, students find a vulnerability in the person that they're bullying and often find satisfaction in that hurt or harm. And finally, in conflict, neither party feels unsafe or threatened. Yes, it's really hurtful to get into an argument with your best friend or a classmate, but you never feel unsafe at school or threatened. Whereas with bullying, students not only feel hurt or harmed, but they feel unsafe at school or online or in the community and are unable to defend themselves. It goes back to that imbalance of power where the student who is experiencing bullying has less power and has a hard time gaining control of the situation and stopping what's happening to them. So now that we know the difference between bullying and conflict, why is it important? Well, it's an important thing to note the difference between the two because the way that we handle conflict and bullying is so different. In conflict, like we talked about, students have equal power. So they're able to resolve the situation together and usually want things to go back to normal, having a healthy relationship. Whereas with bullying, as there's this imbalance of power, the way we deal with it is a little bit differently because we want to make sure the student who's experiencing bullying feels comfortable and has the opportunity to share their story and be empowered in the action plan. If you want more information on bullying versus conflict, you can visit our website, pacer.org bullying. Make sure to join us right back here next week 
as we continue to explore some of the realities about Belaine. And remember, when we stand together, no one stands alone. See ya!